He gummed in body wash and got his roommate pregnant. All right. I got checked for a hernia this morning, and the nurse said, you have the largest penis I've ever seen. Let's do it, y'all. All right, let's get this. He's coming up with some notes, but none of these seem to be working anymore. We'll, we'll do something new here. We're gonna go check out Reddit and see what we got here. I just kind of want to cruise around. Why are we so fucking loud? Okay, there we go. Down to three. Let's go to that happened. That happened is when you have the idea of a heroic moment that they've kind of uh, wished that they could live or like some fantasy type type thing and, and posting it like it's a real story or like it's something that you've actually done. I think I want to do that. Let's do the top from this year. Okay, so this is a perfect example. Tried to get my vaccine this morning, but my arms were too big for the needle and kept breaking it. The nurse was like, Wow, these are the biggest arms we've ever seen. And we just had Dwayne The Rock Johnson in here last week. Guess I got a ticket easy at the gym. Uh, Jesus Christ. I got checked for a hernia this morning and the nurse said, you have the largest penis I've ever seen. And we've had Ron Jeremy in here. Guess I should stop reading Swedish made penis and larger pumps and me. This sort of thing is my bag, baby. All right, let's see what else, what else we got. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wouldn't that be breaking confidentiality? That's a good point. My 18-month-old son built this. I told him, good job, and then took half of it. He cried, so, He cried. so I told him, that's socialism. Don't let them bring it here. He looked me dead in the eye and said, not in my America. Oh, that gave me goosebumps in the wrong way. Why? Why do you feel that? Why do you feel the need? I, I'm sure, yeah, I, uh, how old did we say? You're... Your 18 month old said not in my America. Uh, I would probably turn to my spouse and say uh, he's been spending too much time around grandpa. Whatever. We don't, it doesn't matter. This is a joke. Okay. One of my classmates called me a vamp phobic slur today. So I bit her hand. I'm so effing sick of mortals. God, you and me both. How does she expect anyone to believe her? My mother sent me this from our neighborhood Facebook group. I was eating almonds on a bench in the park and a lady walked by and started yelling at me. You should not be eating almonds. I have a severe allergy and so does my son. Without saying anything, I calmly reached into my yellow purse and took out my new essential oil blend. Then I stood up, still without saying anything, and injected and injected and injected her and her son with, with the needle that I keep in my purse for situations like this. It happens more often than you think. Then I gave her an almond and told her to eat it. But mine did. Her jaw dropped. Nope, I said smugly. I mean, don't get it twisted. Almonds are fucking delicious. But maybe her friends are all really dumb and would actually believe this. I don't know. When she says injecting and injected and injected and injected her and her son with, with the blend. What is the blend? For my blend. Um, I'm so confused. What she's in, So she injected her with something? Sharing needles is not the smartest uh, medical practice. Uh, you're going to want to use sanitary uh, medical equipment. Um, for all of your intravenous uh, solutions to nut allergies. But I am actually kind of offended by the idea that she thinks it's so normal to just inject a stranger with something. Uh, especially a stranger who just across the park said, you should not be eating almonds. Like, would that person be super cool with you coming up to them and injecting them with something? That's going to fly. Well, I don't fucking think so. People will go to any limit to sell their MLM product. Doctor, you lost 12 pounds since the last time I saw you. Me. Coffee. Doctor. Coffee? Me. Coffee. Pulls out a pack of skinny coffee and shows her the ingredients. Doctor, sign me up. And that's how my doctor became my customer today. Because the doctor is unclear on how to lose 12 pounds or... I mean, I won't argue that maybe like if it's a good product that they didn't know about, why, why not? I mean, doctors have to buy things too, right? They're customers of somewhere. So I just think that uh, skinny coffee, like can't you just drink black coffee? I don't fucking know. I don't know. It seems uh, sus. Seems sus. All right. And then the coronavirus clapped. A friend of mine, real, swallowed his entire mask by accident just this morning. Second time it's happened. Incredibly easy to do. Could have choked. This madness can't be allowed to go on. You're damn right. Your friend should have choked. We cannot allow that idiot to live any longer. If he's fucking almost dying on masks. Oh, that guy has a driver's license probably too, right? Holy shit. Hopefully he doesn't have kids. All right. Whoa, you don't say. I was approached by an odd looking 20 something guy that said, fuck, dude, how tall are you? You're huge. I said, 6'3 with my boots on. He said, want to join our BLM movement to stir up some more shit? 
I took off my sunglasses and glazed hard at him and showed him my belt buckle. He screamed like a little girl and ran off. He knew an ass-kicking beatdown was next for him. Don't tread on me. Fuck, I would have run too, dude. I mean, when you see a belt buckle like that... Uh, then the toys clapped. My five-year-old just took half of three-year-old's toys and said, These are mine now. This is called late capitalism. Then he gave them back and added some of his own toys and said, This is socialism. I was utterly speechless, but I was also damned proud. <sighs> I know. I'm so proud that the youth of America, uh, you know, the five-year-olds are, are educating the three-year-olds on socialism. I'm sure they're going to remember all of that by the time they're, you know, of age to do anything about it. Okay, capitalism. You'd have to actually, like, he'd have to give the three-year-old back what? So he takes he takes all the toys, then he'd probably have to give the three-year-old back, like, maybe one of the toys, and then throw the rest outside, and he keeps one. Aubrey Huff was waiting in the orthopedic room today, maskless. The doctor came in, maskless as well. He immediately said, wow, it's great when I enter a room and see a patient that realizes masks are useless. <laughs> this guy's profile picture kind of just says everything about this tweet. Um, I think that the goal is to get middle fingers pointed back at you. Um, I don't really care about the mask debate. I mean, masks, no masks, what the fuck ever. It's a goddamn piece of cloth. Who cares? I don't think it's the handcuffs that some think they are, but I also don't think that we need it. Oh, okay. We're going to go in. This was a little sad. Hey, uh, just because daddy left you, it doesn't make you look. <laughs> I got to start it over. All right. My two-year-old woke me with breakfast in bed and said to me, Happy Mother's Day, Mommy. Just because daddy left you, it doesn't make you less of a woman. You are a everything and more. Ag, guys, I am in tears. Cry face, cry face, cry face, sobby, sobby, heart. Um... I mean, that's all nice. I just, I wonder if, man, how do you make fun of someone like this? Because their life really seems sad. Uh, I, feel, I don't, I feel bad that she's was left, but oh, she's probably terrible. She's probably awful. Um, so first of all, my two-year-old woke me with breakfast in bed. So I'm already concerned. Is breakfast in bed probably, hopefully, like, maybe just like, you know, some, I don't know, like, what is a two-year-old able to prepare? Right? Like maybe just food they found in the kitchen ready or something like that. Uh, I don't know. Even three would have been hard to believe. But, but two, come on. This is this is nuts. <laughs> we got a two-year-old cooking. Oh, man. I don't know how to make fun of this one. It's too sad. Okay, let's keep going. All right. We got another one. My boyfriend turned down five fully paid scholarships just to stay here with me. I really love this man so much. Your boyfriend dumb as shit. Your boyfriend dumb as shit. Uh, I think your boyfriend is a good liar. He make a good lie. This is the oddest one ever. All right. So we've got uh, a Simpsons character with a gun at their head. Ironically, I've had more guns aimed at me at point blank range three times than I've seen episodes of The Simpsons. Zero. Defied cooperating in all three cases saved four people's lives. Bro, what do you got against The Simpsons? That shit is funny, bro. Grandpa, like Mr. Burns, man, that shit is funny. Uh, maybe you should just stop doing shit to get guns pointed at you. Oh my God, uh, this one's good. I feel like this is probably like a 12 or 13 year old somewhere. People in the armed forces, what's the story behind your nickname? Blackout. I tend to blackout and go in full rage mode while I live in combat. I have 100 plus recorded kills using a pocket knife and I don't remember one of them. I'll also be writing a book about my tales uh, in the... Uh, Tom Chuck Murphy Rainbow Five Twelve Special Black Ops Blackout Blackout Out Over and Out God damn it I was in the army okay All right And uh, Once we went to the dentist With my mom And it was just us and one other guy in the waiting room. Jurassic Park was starting on the TV, so we sat and waited through the entire movie. No names called. As the credits rolled, the other man got up and called my mom's name. He was the dentist. You watched all of Jurassic Park in a waiting room and no one said shit. And then he was the dentist. I'd be like, motherfucker. You know, I have a job that like I have to go to to pay for this shit. Sitting here watching Jurassic Park. We're finding a new fucking dentist. Is there, what's the purpose of this one? 
I gotta know. I gotta see the comments. It's drawing me, drawing me in. Oh my god, bro! I so I, it just said uh, I was looking at this one. So this person must have. Uh, it looks like they are they are a doctor. So you'd be surprised. I am a doctor, and more than once a patient has been missed because they went to the bathroom. They were on the wrong floor waiting room. We have two floors with a waiting room on each, or didn't hear their name called, and it was assumed they left or were accidentally checked in. I've had a patient wait two hours before saying something. I'm like, if it's been more than a half hour, you should say something. That's where I'm at. If it's been, if I, if someone walks in after me and they get called before me, I'm, that's my trigger right there. Like, nope, I got the whole, the math, the structure, it's all been done in and out. First in, first out shit. I got it. We're good. I'm talking. Dude, can't you read Jurassic Park was on? <laughs> a lot of mask shit on this. People are so like. There's a lot of virtue signaling on here, too. When I was four, my dad got pulled over and screamed, I have to poop, and the cops let my dad go. When he took me to the bathroom, my dad couldn't stop laughing after I told him I didn't have to poop, just didn't want him to get a ticket. Sure hope my kids return the favor. God, you know, you just sure are so great. I mean, ever since you were four, you knew how to, like, lie to the police for me. <laughs> Why did the waiter cry? Okay, six officers having lunch. I picked up the tab and asked to remain anonymous. The waiter literally cried. Cops aren't told us enough. Thank you for your service. So I'm all good with like be people being like, you know, kind to others, right? But why did the waiter cry? Just, I mean, he seems like a non-involved third party that should have just been like the middleman without crying. Him crying makes me think he's taking credit for giving the, the fate, like doing the good deed. But it's like, dude, you're not even an involved party. Get the fuck out of here. I shouldn't have even talked to you about this. Maybe he said he the waiter cried because the, he wanted to remain anonymous. So the only one there to react to his kindness in the story was the waiter. That makes sense. Super, super convincing. You should have seen the reaction in the restaurant at my table when I ordered filet mignon raw. Filet mignon raw. Sir, are you sure? Uh, sir, are you being serious? Sir, what the fuck is wrong with you? Uh, we can't serve this to you. You're actually going to get sick. Uh, sir, do you want us to put on some salt? No. Just raw. Almost everyone at the table had some and they liked it. Baby steps. Baby steps towards what? Towards what? To what end? To eating live animals? Is that what we want to do? Is that where we're headed? Yeah. Restaurants would be fucking crazy. Uh, I, I'm not sure the baby steps toward what, to what end, good sir? He cummed in body wash and got his roommate pregnant. All right. This is going to be the end of this one. And we're going to get right through this. I promise. So I've been coming in my roommate and girlfriend's body wash because they're annoying as fuck. For like two months, jerk it in the shower, open the pump, dump it in, and give it a good shake. He just told me her period was super late. So they took a pregnancy test, and she's knocked up. He said, I trust her. I guess a condom ripped, or I don't know. And they're going to raise it. We have a year on the lease. Problem is, I'm Greek, and they're white as fuck. What are the chances I'm a dad? What the fuck is wrong with you? This can't be, this can't be real, right? How do we follow this? <laughs> oh my God. You're telling me that most people don't wash themselves 14 knuckles deep? Disgusting. Well, hey, if you listen to Cardi B, I think she said something about sticking your finger in your asshole to wipe your ass. Like, I don't know. I just, I don't, I don't know what the right way to do anything is. Um, we got anything else? Uh, let's see. <laughs> Honey, I spunked you full with kids. Uh, dear God, what if you found out someone was doing this to you? There's like justified homicide, right? You could at least justifiably like you get a bunch of buddies together and beat the fuck out of this person, right? Come on. Would you get canceled for that? If they cummed in your body wash over and over... And got your girl preg? Does that warrant any kind of... I don't know. Tell me in the comments. Oh, yeah. What about the dude who nutted in a pool and got like 10 girls pregnant? Oh, yeah. I always hear about that happening. God, hotels are the worst. <laughs> Do you think 4chan users know how a woman body works? Even here on Reddit, we know just very basic stuff about the intricacies of women's bodies. <laughs> oh, no. Is there our bad woman's anatomy? Oh, no. I was ready for the night, but uh, that'll do it for this video. Please uh, like, comment, subscribe. 
little notification bell for me if you could be so kind. Um, I want to keep doing reaction videos and just keep putting um, some funny content out there and just kind of exploring the internets and, uh, you know, throwing it up on the old YouTubes. But I also want to I don't know. I want to bring some more fun, more original content that maybe is less reaction based. So we'll see how some of those go. Maybe I'll post those on a different channel, but I think we'll keep Casey sensitive reacts uh, cruising for the daily posts for the, you know, to keep the cringe rolling, to keep the funny going, to keep the party. Oh, and uh, I have a store here soon where we're going to be doing some art projects, making some videos, doing some art arts and crafts and then i'm going to just sell the art for cheap on like etsy or ebay or something like that so that we can uh anyone can buy original pieces by casey sensitive but i'm actually going to put my you know some time into it and uh the materials will be nice and i'll make sure i ship it so that you can you know, maybe hang an original piece in your house from hopefully something that, like it could be cool i don't know but we may start that i mean i probably cut this out though we'll save that i really like this camera angle um that's it that's all i got for now let's go boom pop.